In this video, I want to show you how I have made some modifications to my Asana account and now uh, and show you how I'm now working in Seasons. Now, Seasons, uh, you can read in my blog post, you'll find that linked in the description of this video. Seasons are like a way of theming your work. So instead of just working by project, you can actually kind of work in, in these seasons or themes where you work on tasks across different projects like we've got here. And, uh, and, and these seasons give you a, like a central focus for a short period of time. Now, the reason this uh, idea came about is that while I work in Asana, um, in terms of how I prioritize my time, I would generally kind of uh, add ideas. As I have ideas of things to work on, I would add them to these various projects. I've got my products project. I've got my content calendar. This is where I plan all of the, all of the work that I'm doing. And when I have an idea or there's something I need to do, I add it to the right project and I assign a due date based on based on when I want to get it done, really. And there was nothing really wrong with this approach, but um, it, the trouble is with, with uh, in, in Asana is that you don't really have a clear sense of what your next few weeks look like. I mean, you do have the My Tasks section up here, so I can see what the next week looks like. Um, but everything about a week out is, uh, more than a week out, is collapsed in this later section over here. So I can't really see anything that's more than a week away. And I really want to have some central place where I can plan the next few weeks and months and, and really kind of um, see what those that time is going to look like. And so I created this project, which is 2016 Goals. And you can see in here, I've used sections to plan the my quarterly uh, targets, uh, sales targets. I've got sections here, so Q1, Q2, Q3. And then I've got months within each of these section, sections. So I've got July, August, and September for Q3. And each of these months has a, a theme here. So July has really been about planning. I've kind of recently set this up. But the, th the theme or the season for August is website updates. And so I've, I've got some updates I'm making to my personal productivity toolkit, some updates to my seven-day plan, and um, a, few, a few other minor tasks in here. And uh, in September, I've got uh, the, the theme or the season I will be committing to is website traffic growth. So really the focus for that month is, is traffic growth activities. And so you can see here I've got some tasks related to running different ads online. I've got tasks dedicated to writing book summaries and things. And, and you'll see here that these tasks have been pulled in from different places around my account. So from the business and website project, that's this one on the left here, I've got these three. But the book summaries have been pulled in from the content calendar. And this is one of the great things about Asana is that you can, as you can see up the top here, you can add tasks to multiple projects. And so by just clicking plus and then typing the name of a project, I can just very quickly add a task to as many projects as I like. So that's how I've, that's how I've put this together. And it's important to note with this project, this 2016 project, none of these tasks exist only in this project, if that makes sense. These projects have all been pulled in from these other ones here. So this project really is, is acting like a parent or like a summary project where I'm planning my uh, kind of my, what I'm going to work on over the next kind of few weeks and months. And uh, yeah, so looking at these seasons, I've got, um, yeah, obviously the August and September, I need to plan out what I'm going to be doing at the end of the year. So it's a really nice, clear way of showing what my focus will be for that month. And um, and then I can pull in the projects I need and I can, I can see if I flick to my calendar, I can work ahead and plan ahead um, without having to rely on the my tasks, which only shows me a week. I can actually look a few months ahead to look at what are my, what are my main priorities going to be. So that's as that's it really. It's it's a fairly simple uh, it's a fairly simple approach. Um, you uh, in Asana you can just use the sections um, for the, I've got quarterly goals and monthly goals. And uh, if you have any questions about this setup, please leave me a comment, and I'll feel, I'll uh, definitely answer those. But yeah, I, I highly recommend planning in this way. I've I can testify that since adopting this method since setting this up I feel a little bit more organized because before what would happen is uh, I'd have this my tasks and and every week new ones would come up as they fall due they would come up into this upcoming section which was nice but um, as I said like there was no real clear way to plan ahead so since since having this 2016 goals project I just find I'm a bit more organized there's a bit more structure and um, thought going into how I'm going to be spending my time in the coming months and working in seasons like this having 
having a central focus for the month is a nice way of just keeping momentum high and working towards like a nice short-term goal. So I hope that's given you some inspiration. Um, uh, it's a, another great reason to use Asana. And yeah, as I said, if you have any questions, please let me know.